Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle.com video show. Today we're going to be looking at the new Windows Home Server from HP. This is the HP Mini Smart Server and this one is the EX487 which is a one and a half terabyte model. Um, it's very similar to the um, the X475 that, uh, that I've, I've already got. But there's some extra spec on here, some new software, and pretty, pretty much an enhanced suite of software. Um, better processor, it's got a 64-bit uh, processor, 2 gig of RAM as opposed to the 512 so that it can support more add-ins and uh, a lot of extra on the software. So from, there's not a lot really to see from the exterior. Uh, if you've seen the other HP Media Smart Servers externally, it looks the same. It's got the black lid on here instead of the silver lid. Um, it's got three USB on the back, an eSATA port, and a USB on the front. So where it looks different is on the, the desktop software. So I'm going to uh, just have a look at some of the highlights uh, of the software. So this is the start page when you come onto the uh, HP Media Smart Server. So we've got um, all the additional features here, so let's have a look at some of those. So like server summary, this is now shows the state of the drives, the state of the add-ins, the power management, and uh, the software updates. Uh, remote access I've not got enabled. Uh, this supports HP Photo Publisher, so directly from the from here we can launch the HP uh, Photo Smart Publisher. Uh, so we can publish photos to Snapfish, Facebook, Flickr, Picasso uh, from from the P from a, a connected PC. The HP Media Smart Collector, this copies our files from the network and arranges them on the server. Uh, so this is kind of direct copying files and scanning the network for files, bringing photos and music and videos back to the Media Smart server, which I think is a, a good idea. So it, it can have it to so it's scheduled and uh, it will copy and centralize all the media uh, center, all the media files, uh, including iTunes and playlists and everything else, all onto the Media Smart Server. Because this is one of the problems you get with with home servers. You still got things scattered all over your networks, and this uh, will consolidate that for you. Um, this supports features for the Mac, so so you can up schedule backups for Mac OS X uh, 10.5 or later. Um, so. Uh, I haven't got any Macs, but if you're using a Mac on your network, you can uh, schedule a backups for it. There's integration with iTunes. Uh, we've got online server backups. So this is uh, using Amazon S3 storage, so we can back up directly to an S3 account, which is a, a good idea if you want to s store your photos off-site uh, for disaster, disaster cover. We've got uh, Twonky Media, which is a, a media sharing application and McAfee built in as well. So, um, when I scan through this bit, this bit looks pretty similar. That's okay. That. In terms of storage, this is the one and a half uh, terabyte model, uh, which has got two about 700 gig drives in there. If we go to the settings, this is where we'll see some more the usual stuff and then some of the more interesting stuff. Um, so add-ins that are installed, a, a Twonky Media uh, Server, H McAfee, Total Protection and HP's on online backup. And we'll have a look at these options uh, in a moment. So one thing I noticed, a, a new thing on here is the sleep mode. Um, so you can schedule you, your HP uh, server to sleep. Uh, when you when you don't need it, so it'll wait for backups at midnight, and then from between four and seven in this case, it would be uh, asleep. Um, now, what I haven't tested on this is the ability to wake this up as well. So I'm, that'd be interesting to see if we can do that. And we've got all the usual not notifications and brightness. So we've got uh, McAfee, which. Uh, I haven't got uh, running at the moment, but you can enable schedule scans and so on. Let's have a look at the HP Media Collector. So every day, this is going to scan uh, our tablet PC and bring back content 
uh, back to this machine. Which I think is a great idea for sort of bringing all data from around the network into one place. Uh, so I really like that idea. Now what I haven't seen is how it works with uh, recorded TV. Um, so I'll have to give that a test. So the online backup service, this is for uh, Amazon S3. Uh, so uh, if you've not got an S3 account you can, you can get one and uh, you put your keys in there and then you can schedule your backups. So you could back up just your music or your, your videos or your photos or whatever you, you want it to do. And you, you can uh, schedule your times and everything else and you've got restoring option. So I think uh, a lot of people might use this just for the photo backups as a way of doing a backup of all your all your photos. Um, the Amazon account is not free, you've got to pay for that when you pay for the uh, transfers and the, uh, and the and the data that goes up there. Uh, so I've got iTunes set up, uh, Twunkin Media we can set up um, the sharing on that and we can uh, different media receivers that we've got so say that's a um, media smart TV extender and we've got options to rebuild databases and so on so that's a quick first impressions video of the uh, HP media smart server and I've reviewed quite a few uh, Windows Home servers now, the Tranquil Box, the original HP uh, Media Smart and uh, this is another good home server it's uh, said the, the, it's got 2 gig of DDR RAM in there as opposed to 512 on the older model uh, and that was a problem on the older model when you've got uh, antivirus software installed in there and all add-ins so that's giving you a lot of extra room for potential for um, software for future so if you've got antivirus and all the third party add-ins that are available that uh, 2 gig of RAM should be better for you 64 bit gig uh, 64 bit processor um, immediately it doesn't make much difference but again that's more uh, for the future uh, as future platforms maybe 64 bit then that's, then that's there um, there's two drive, two versions of a 750 drive and a 1.5 terabyte drive, and of course it's easy enough to upgrade the drives. We can just uh, put the drives in these trays, slot that in, and and away you go. I actually on my own machine, I've got a couple of hard disks so I use for my own media center machines, and I've just put those in, not adding them to the drive pool, but just put them in there in case I need to access any data. So that's quite a nice. Uh, solution for that. Of course you've got the eSATA and the USB as well so you can add to the drive pool. So this is running Windows Home Server Power Pack 1 and um, the extra software that HP puts on does make a difference between that and other systems. So you've got things like the, the, the Mac integration, the online backup solution with Amazon S3, the pitch um, publishing, the media collector, I like that I, the idea of that, that it kind of collects all these media from different files from different machines around the network and pulls all together making it a lot easier to find stuff because normally it could be scattered on any machines so I like that and the sleep, things like the sleep mode as well just helps with the, the power consumption as well so overall I think this is going to be a nice incremental update uh, for HP and uh, we'll probably hear more about this in the future and so thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll see you around on digitallifestyle.com